What's up beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit, I hope you're doing oh so well. My name is Lila, if you're new to the channel, I am also a Virgo and I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good, I'm going to do an inventory spread, I was going to do a love reading but um, I'm doing what Spirit's telling me to do. Oh, bottom of the deck, heavy energy here dynamics so please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find the reading resonates with you in any way and i hope you're doing good past energy okay so i'm just going to tell a story here for a go something came to an end the death card can signify people in spirit it can also signify a transitional period i feel like this is something's come to an end it could be a particular connection could have been with the scorpio i'm going to keep it as general as possible and please remember to smash, smash, oh, smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in some way. I I believe that someone got blocked here or you blocked somebody. Somebody blocked you. Some of you guys are dealing with somebody that you can't or you couldn't. Timeless energy you couldn't get through to. They wasn't bringing you stability. I feel like you're very kind in nature, Virgo, as we know. And I feel like you gave a lot in this connection and... I feel for some of you guys, yeah, something came to an end. You were like, fuck this. I don't need this shit. I need stability. So I'm going to ground myself. Um, and then we get this three of wands energy. So it's like, I'm looking to the future now. I'm turning my back on the past and I'm going to have faith. I am going to manifest. I'm going to find hope again. You know, it's like a renewed hope. And with that queen of pentacles there, it's definitely kind of like getting back to you just before i press play i was thinking yep yeah, i'm starting to feel myself again so i don't know about you virgo but uh starting to feel like comfortable again in my own skin you know feeling myself queen of wands actually represents that confident energy that fiery energy that a lot of us have the moon card suggests that there could be some fear here there could be some confusion you know, fear of the unknown, trying to figure out what's real and what's not real. Two of Pentacles shows me some of you guys may have a choice here, or you're trying to juggle a lot of things. You know, this could be your personal life, your work life. You could be trying to juggle two people. I mean, we're going to start clarifying. Why is this death card here for Virgo? Why is the death card here for Virgo? Ten of Cups. Somebody let go of something very, very good here. I feel like maybe some of you guys let go of this because you wasn't getting the happiness that you, you required, that you needed. I feel like um, what's important for a lot of Virgos is to feel content. I feel like you gave up. Or somebody gave up here. Nine of Wands in reverse is kind of like giving up energy. Like, I'm just done. I'm fed up. I'm done. I feel like a lot of you guys were fed up with something here. Um, it's almost like somebody's holding on to old stories here as well. And I, and I must say, Virgo, you know, I'm going to say what comes to me. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's important for me to say, you know, we can't paint everybody with the same brush. We can't let the past dictate our future. Okay, I feel like um, maybe somebody was trapping themselves here, their own boundaries, trapping themselves by their own boundaries. I feel like you, someone, if okay, there's so many ways to see this. Like, I feel like it, maybe it felt like your person gave up on you. Okay, so you were dealing with somebody here, King of Swords in reverse, very hot and cold energy probably you didn't you didn't know where you stood with this person and that's why you gave up you just want to be happy you want to be emotionally content emotionally satisfied you want someone that's emotionally available and i feel like there was a hot and cold energy here hot and cold hot and cold and you were just done with it you know perhaps this person tried to manipulate you you know and i think a lot of you guys chose to kind of like either book a vacation or just take some time for yourself the need to kind of like rest from this energy 
Let's talk about the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for Virgo? Why is the Three of Wands here for Virgo? Why is the Three of Wands here? Ace of Swords. So it's a, definitely an energy of clarity. Maybe you got some clarity. Maybe you started to see a bit more clearer. You got your aha moment. Like sometimes it takes a light bulb moment or it takes for somebody to say something or even spirit to just come in and, and, and intervene. Okay, so I feel like there was some sort of divine intervention here. Okay. Why is the three of wands here? Five of Pentacles. You decided or you you realized that, you know, this person <clears throat> He was realizing that this needs to come to an end or this person was making you feel rejected five of wands here it's almost like i want to say it's not worth it like maybe a lot of you guys realize that it's not worth it the drama the the if mutts or baby maybe is the the toxic energy disagreements feeling left out yeah so I feel that's why a lot of you guys turn your back towards this now and and is trying to look to the future, you know, especially with the star card there. You know, it was almost like you knew you was lying to yourself, Virgo. And, it, it, you know, sometimes we're in denial with the two of swords there. It's time to see shit for what it is. It could be that you are becoming codependent or at least this energy was not serving you. It was just like this this wasn't this didn't make you happy you know you you wasn't happy that's what i get for a lot of people why is the star card here why is the star card here knight of wands so it's like you need adventure you know you need to enjoy life that's kind of like the light bulb moment adventure the world card travel a lot of realization here realize it's like i want to say realizing there's more to life than this like i want to be happy and i'm not happy this person has deceived me i've deceived myself you know and enough is enough hopefully for some of you guys let's talk about this moon card i want to know why this moon card is here what's this hidden energy um just to talk about zodiac signs, you don't have to be dealing with this with these zodiac signs. We have Scorpio energy here, we have Aries energy, we have Aquarius energy, we have Pisces energy here. Okay, so the three of pentacles is here. It's almost like there is a fear here of cooperating with people or building with somebody, and perhaps maybe you know again like past situations can affect future situations connections you've got so much love to give you know um something here to do with patience so maybe you're scared of waiting it out um you're scared of always seeing the best in people i mean how cliche is that virgo Why is the moon card here? Give us one more card. Why is the moon card here? Something here about compassion. It's almost like I want to say, like you're in fear of your kindness being taken for a weakness. You're you're in fear of your kindness being taken advantage of. There is a there is a, a connection here that I feel like some Virgos are scared of. Could be with a Gemini. Could be with a Leo. Doesn't have to be these signs. They could have them in their chart. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo. In between Leo and Gemini is Cancer. It could be a Cancer for some of you guys. But there's some sort of fear here, Virgo. And you're quite restless about this energy as well. Someone could be spying on you as well, Virgo. Interestingly enough, I feel like a lot of you guys are scared of taking a leap of faith and scared of getting hurt again. 
and then there's another side of you that may be scared of walking away from a situation but then regretting it something about making the wrong choice like it's almost like you don't want to lose the progress that you've made why is the queen of wands here I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to implement self-care. I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to let this past go. You know, God loves a trial. You're trying to put yourself first. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys may be doing a lot of retail therapy, you know, buying yourself stuff in order to, to feel better. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of retail therapy, Virgo, you know. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to take a break. You're trying to um, be kind to yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're being attacked and you're always defending yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys have your guard up and, and you know, sometimes feeling misunderstood. I get it, Virgo. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, I think. Please remember to smash the thumbs button. If you find it resonates with you in any way, it was just a very quick general reading. There'll be another video going up today. Please remember to show some love. You can book me for a personal follow in the socials and catch me for live tarot. I want, you guys to I want you guys to have a fantastic day. Love, peace and light. Be kind to others as I always say and as you always are. But most importantly, be kind to you. And the gifted will catch you on the rebound. Take care.